Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'll be introducing some new advancements made with the Spree TNG R3.0 release. We're going to specifically talk about wire EDM, open edges, and open pocketing. In the past, if you wanted to make a pocketing operation in a small corner where possibly the wire couldn't fit during the rough pass, you would have to create a feature and do a regular pocketing operation. Now we have the ability to pocket on an open feature. This could be either a chain feature or a draft feature. Uh, this was developed in response from requests from the field, uh, basically to clear uncut areas due to wire look ahead or the wire being too large. It's especially useful for dual wire machines, a machine where you might have two spools, one for a larger diameter wire for roughing, and another spool for a smaller diameter wire that you would use for finishing. If you take a look at the picture on the left hand side here, you can see what would happen if we turned off look ahead and on the rough pass the wire went into this small corner. It would actually overcut on the two sides. So we have now have the option to do a open pocketing, which you can see on the right hand side. You simply create a feature there in the corner and apply a pocketing operation like normal. Let's take a look at this in Esprit TNG. Alright, so here's our file in TNG. If you take a look here on the right hand side, you can see the rough pass, which is this one here, actually overcuts. So typically what we used to do in the past is we open up the operation, go on the general tab. Maybe what we want to do is G40 on uh, rough only. Let's go to the advanced tab and we're going to turn look ahead to yes. And what that's going to do is it's going to see if the wire can fit in there. If it can't, then the wire will avoid that area, which is what we have here. Now the problem with that is when we come back with the skim passes, uh, there'll be a lot of material here and the wire could actually break because the power might not be high enough and the feed rate might be too fast. So now what you can do is you simply create a chain on the open pocketing areas. So I've got two chains that I've created on these two little keyways, two little ears. I'm going to go to the EDM ribbon. I'm going to go right to pocketing to axis. At this point in time, the only strategy that works is a normal, which is basically like a zigzag. Okay, I put in all my data, and the EDM expert works just the same as it would in any other operation. I'll go ahead and press OK. And what you'll see is this little zigzag toolpath that basically gets rid of the material there before we come with our skim passes. So much you, what you might want to do then is you might want to come over here and take the two operations and move them so they happen right after the rough. That way we rough, remove the material from the corners, kind of like a rest machine operation, and then we do our skim passes. Let's take a look at that in simulation. Wire comes in, does its rough pass, it can't get into those corners. Then it comes back and it pockets those out. Then it does its skim passes. So this is a great new feature, it really helps out uh, so you can get into the small corners where the uh, larger wire or the rough pass wouldn't fit. Hope you enjoyed this, thank you so much.